welcome to Gurok Farms. In today's video, we're gonna be chopping corn silage. We have to uh, put a layer of corn silage on the small pile in the yard here today. That's the main objective for today. It should be pretty interesting because the pile is already getting pretty big for up here in the yard. If you stay up with the channel, you'll know from previous videos that we had a pretty good third crop. We put a lot of acres in that pile and it yielded pretty well considering how dry this summer has been. So the pile's getting up there. It's getting pretty tall. It's getting pretty big. We are, uh, we're running out of room. So we might have to get a little creative this afternoon to get the last couple loads on the pile. But to start out this morning, things are gonna be a bit slower. There's a weather system rolling through and there's a slight chance of rain mid morning here. So we're gonna take our time, get things ready. In the meantime, we gotta put the duels on the 7405. We gotta move an electric fence around our big pile in preparation for the rest of the week. Get that pile ready to go. And then uh, we'll get into the swing of things. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's uh, have some fun chopping corn silage. so I just cut off a piece of a bolt and stuck it in there so you gotta kind of hold them in there to to get that to stay otherwise it's a pretty simple system these rods come in all sorts of different lengths you can buy them where you might even need to cut them so I got these duels will fit on the 7510 74 looks great with the duels on. And there we go, another tractor all dueled up, looking good, looking big. That'll be good. Now our two main tractors for the pile are pretty much ready to go. 7510 uh, will be hauling loads more than likely. And these two with the duels on will be packing and, and assisting getting wagons up onto the pile. Now I'm gonna dig out the 686, head down to our other shed and grab our Kiwani elevator for later today. So I'll explain once we get it up here what uh, we're thinking about trying. we got going now is three-point arms aren't coming down here on the 7405 dad's gonna grab the skids here we're gonna put some pressure down it just doesn't get used enough so it's locked up on us here the 7405 is gonna get the blade on it right away and uh, we're gonna try something a little uh, different it might not work out too well but uh, you guys will find out along with us how well that elevator is gonna work when it comes to getting feet up there and then dragging it across the top with this thing. Well, it appears we're not able to get our three-point arms to work here on the 7405. We're assuming that a valve just isn't opening and closing on this. It could be electronically in this 
this guy or something hydraulically or the valve just could be stuck it may be trying to open but it just hasn't been used in forever that we're having problems so this one will just be packing i guess and uh we'll probably end up using the 686 with the blade move feet around on the pile I think the last time the three-point arms were used on this was uh, when we were using our older brush hog. So it's been used. It's just uh, we're not gonna mess around fighting that when uh, we could be chopping corn. So. See in the distance there, there's one of them systems I was talking about this morning. Before we started opening the pile, we checked the, the radar and the weather app and everything looked okay. And there looks to be a, a little pop-up shower. Mist, doesn't look like it's gonna be anything heavy, but of course that shows up right when we uh, unpin the pile. Tarp's still on though. Maybe we'll just leave it on there until the first load shows up and then pull it off. So far, the glimpse I've caught under the tarp, it looks like our haylage kept fairly decent, which is good. Time to bring on the mist. So Dad took off with the chopper. He's going to go grab an empty chopper box and start working his way around the cornfield. It's going to be a bit of a slow start when it comes to chopping, being he's got to try to straddle the rows and do the lower side of the field edge. But before things get ramped up, I wanted to kind of explain our thought process here with the conveyor. So the idea is we're going to unload into the Kiwani elevator and that will get the feed up to the top of the pile. If the pile wasn't as big as it is already from hay, we would be trying to drive straight up on the pile like we normally do. But that creates a lot of problems, especially a lot of stress on the wagons and the tractor trying to get up and on there. And we've done it in the past where we've used chains to pull the other tractor and the wagon up onto the pile. And there's also another factor of danger being this pile so narrow and tall, we'd hate to slide off the edge with a, a tractor and wagon trying to get up on the pile and off the pile on the other end. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to use the elevator, dump a big pile right on top, and then use the 686 with the blade to kind of push it from one end of the pile to the other. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking, why don't you just push it up on the pile like guys would with a bunker? Well, in the yard here, we don't have a whole lot of room, so there isn't really a good place to dump it. So we're gonna see how this goes today. Leave your comments down below what you think we should have done. We're gonna try our best here with what we got and see how it goes. Thankfully, being a smaller farm, we can take little risks like this and try new things because we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, paying five, 10, 15, 20 employees you know, when we have something that we plan that doesn't work out. So if this doesn't quite work out the way we planned, all we're gonna lose is a bit of time and, and decrease some of our efficiency, but we're not uh, throwing away a pile of money. It's not gonna hurt our pocket. It's, uh, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see if this works. So super excited to try it out. Heck, if this conveyor goes good, we might be able to put more corn silage on than we normally would in the past. So let's see what we can accomplish. I'm going to head down to the field, grab another empty box and stage it for him. And then we'll haul that first box up here and give it a go.
bumper seems to be running good. He had to stop and pull some of the grass out. That's uh, pretty common along the edge of the field like that. I'm curious how a cripper head would react to them type of conditions. Would it be better? Would it chomp through all that grass too? Or would that kind of plug up and make a mess? Any of you that use a crimper head, especially on an older pole type, let me know how that uh, turns out. As for that weather system, that mist kind of went through, wasn't anything major. Didn't even get the concrete wet. Looked pretty dark. The sky is still pretty cloudy, but I think we're just gonna keep plugging away and hope for the best. The radar shows we're not supposed to get anything, but who the heck knows. Okay, definitely not ideal. One guy, but not to worry. Dad's down there chopping, and our good family friend Steve, he just showed up, so we'll have three guys in the mix, which would make it nicer. One guy on the pile, one guy on loading, and then one guy in the chopper. That'll probably be the, the best way to go about this. Now I'm gonna try to get up there with the 686 and try to push that out and across the pile. We'll see how that goes. It's always kind of tricky getting up onto the pile with the blade and these smaller tractors. keep on loading and rinse and repeat for a while and get this pile made. number two on the pile it isn't going ideal it's it's pretty hard getting around with that 686 up there especially with this misty weather and conditions so we're gonna get the 7405 and put the loader on it might be kind of clumsy with the loader but at least you'll be able to go where you want and push what you want if anything it's gonna overdo it, it won't underdo it. Okay, update, we got the loader on the 7405. That took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. This should work a lot better having this four wheel drive up here. It's too bad we couldn't get the three point to work earlier, put the blade on it. I'm just, that's kind of irritating, but what do you do? We got the loader, things will work nice now. 
Mason, he uh, didn't have class today. He spontaneously didn't have class today, so this will work out. He'll be able to help out extra guy. As for the weather, it's still misting, but it's not like an actual rain. I wouldn't really consider it rain. It's more of a heavy fog. So when it comes to corn silage, this shouldn't be, this shouldn't really affect feed quality at all. If anything, it might just uh, affect getting on and off the pile with our tractors. And now having the four-wheel drives up here, but, uh, it'll go a lot better. Really weird, weird weather patterns lately. The past couple days up until today were super hot, 100 degree weather, and now it's cooled right off, 70 or lower. It's supposed to be a high of like 65 tomorrow, and, and then we got this kind of stuff today, this mist, but it's so dry out. We're just fine. Also, Dad was asking me what I thought and if we should put more on or not. And I told him, since we went through all the hassle getting all this stuff set up, if we got it working, we might as well really heap this pile up and make a big pile up here, which will be cool to see. I'm excited for that. See how much feed we can get here in the yard. keep going or if we're gonna call it here uh, ideally if we, uh, if we can get the chopper going again we're just gonna keep going I think we got uh, plenty of room and this is working out okay so we'll go check that out see what the problem is. so it's been about two hours since we had the chopper breakdown and uh, what exactly broke down was one of the knives on the corn head the bolts that hold all that together sheared off I'm guessing it's just from fatigue over time and then the way we uh, open up fields where we got to go back in and try to pick up the stalks off the ground. I'm sure that's pretty hard on them, them knives, that big entire mechanism, trying to dig in the dirt like that and pick all them stalks that we had to run over in order to open up the field. But in that time, Dad and Steve worked on that. It was kind of in a spot where you couldn't have more than one or two guys working on it anyways. So then Mason and I fed up in the barn, got ready for milking, and then we also went down and moved the electric fence around our big pile down there, so that's ready for tomorrow. And then I fueled up all the tractors. I staged a couple piles of tires, so those are ready to go for when it's time to cover. We're thinking we're gonna put probably two more loads on this pile. It's getting pretty big, but it'll be nice to have it up here. It's gonna be way bigger than normal. Just as we get towards the end here, we just gotta be careful that we don't uh, slide off the edge or anything crazy like that. Just gotta take our time. 
this will be by far the biggest I've ever seen this pile in the yard. Probably the biggest it's ever been since my dad's been farming here, which will be great. Even though it's a lot more putzing around here with the conveyor and the loader tractor. We had some teething problems when it came to this setup, but we, I think we got it fairly figured out now where it'd be pretty efficient. If we wouldn't have had that chopper breakdown, we would have been done and probably had the pile covered by now. But the extra hassle here is gonna save us time when it comes to hauling feed out of that lower pile during the winter. And I would much rather move feed out of this pile into the winter longer than out of that pile down there. So this would be great to have more of our feed up here in the yard, right next to all the barns. It'll be a lot easier to move this, a lot less messing around. So what I'm trying to get at is the, the pain now, pulling apart a pile and doing this crazy stuff should save us a lot of time this winter. Right now, Steve's back in the chopper down there, going on some nice long straight rows. Dad went down there to grab the next wagon. Hopefully that repair is holding up and uh, everything's going smooth down there. Okay, things have been coming along pretty well here for the last little bit of putting this file together. The last load, it's making its way up the road now with the chopper. So we'll be putting that on and then grooming up the pile and packing and then time to cover. It's not too late in the day. Probably have this thing covered at least with the tarp by milking time. And then uh, Mason and I can maybe throw on tires while Dale's milking. about empty we're gonna head down there and clean up around the conveyor pull that out of the way and then finish packing get under where the conveyor is and try to groom all this up
And there you have it folks, the silage pile in the yard is finished. It didn't go quite as smooth as we would have hoped. Super satisfying to have a lot of feed up here in the yard. That's definitely the biggest pile that I've seen in the yard here. It's a good feeling to have it covered and, and sealed and secured onto our bigger pile tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with someone who might find it interesting as well. Also, if you want to see more of this, make sure to stay tuned for our other corn chopping videos. We should have another two or three videos, two or three days on chopping corn. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.